Hello everyone. Today we are going to delve into the fascinating world of PCR, polymerase chain reaction, and specifically explore the use of Tetra Arms PCR primers. PCR is a powerful technique used to amplify DNA, allowing scientists to create millions of copies of a specific DNA segment. It's fundamental in various fields such as molecular biology, genetics and biotechnology. Tetra Arms PCR is a specialized method used primarily for SNP, single nucleotide polymorphism genotyping. This technique implies four primers, two outer primers and two inner allele specific primers that allow the differentiation between the two alleles of a gene based on their unique sequences. The result is a robust, efficient and cost effective approach to SNP detection. What are Tetra Arms PCR primers? Tetra Arms PCR primers are designed to amplify two different alleles in a single PCR reaction. Here is how they work. Outer primers. These flank the region containing the SNP and bind to conserved sequences on either side. They are designed to amplify a larger fragment that serves as a control to ensure the PCR reaction is working properly. The inner primers. These are allele specific and are designed to bind to the SNP region itself. One primer will match the wild type allele and the other will match the mutant allele. These primers amplify smaller distinct fragments for each allele, allowing differentiation based on the size of the PCR products. By using this method, you can quickly and accurately determine the genotype of a sample based on the presence or absence of specific PCR products. Let's understand this through animation. Let's suppose we have a sample in which we only have the wild type allele on both the chromosomes of the pair. Let's suppose we have placed four tetra arms PCR primers and the sample in PCR. First, the DNA strands will separate from each other. Then the primers will anneal to the strands. Here, the outer general forward primer will bind here on one allele and one outer general primer will bind on the other allele. And the general reverse primer will attach to the other strands of the DNA. The inner forward wild specific primer will bind here on this allele, while the reverse primer cannot bind to the wild type allele. As we don't have the mutant allele, this primer will not bind. Now we will get a general amplicon of 60 base pair on both the alleles. As the wild type is present, we will get another amplicon here, which will be of this size. However, we will not get any amplicon here for the mutant type. After PCR, you will run the product on a gel. You will get this picture. One general amplicon of this size and one band for the wild type allele. Now let's take the second example, where we have only the mutant allele and the wild allele is absent. All the procedures are the same as discussed for the wild type, except that here we will get a mutant amplicon and the wild type amplicon will be missing. The gel will show these bands where you can clearly see the mutant type band while the wild type band is missing. In our third example, we have both the alleles in the sample. So both of our inner primers specific to both alleles will bind and result in their products. This time we have both the wild type band and the mutant type band on the gel. Additionally, we will get this general band also. Designing effective Tetra Arms PCR primers requires careful consideration of various factors such as primer specificity, melting temperature, and the absence of secondary structures. This is where Primer1 comes in. Primer1 is an online tool specifically designed to facilitate the creation of primers for Tetra Arms PCR. 
Here is a brief overview of its features. User-friendly interface. Primer 1 offers straightforward, easy-to-navigate platform that simplifies the primer design process. It automatically generates outer and inner primers based on the input SNP sequence, ensuring optimal specificity and efficiency. Users can adjust parameters such as primer length, melting temperature and GC content to tailor the primers to their specific needs. Primer 1 includes built-in validation checks to ensure that the designed primers do not form secondary structures like hairpins or dimers, which could interfere with the PCR reaction. How to use Primer 1? First of all, you must have your DNA or RNA sequence, which contains your desired SNP. This is supposed to be our sequence. Here is the SNP position. Remember, you must have almost 100 to 500 bases before the SNP and the same amount after the SNP position. Suppose you have T in one allele and C in another allele. Now determine the position of the SNP in the sequence. You can find this using MS Word very easily. Just select from the start till the SNP position. Click here. You can see it's at position number 401. Now just copy the whole sequence. Go to the Primer 1 site. Paste your sequence here. Now you have to delete one of the alleles from the SNP position because we only need one here. Remove the slash also. Type the position of the SNP here. Type the SNP of allele 1 here and allele 2 here. You can change the primer size. I would change the optimum length to 20 and the minimum to 17. You can also change the inner product sizes, primer melting temperature, GC content, etc. I would leave most of them at default values. Now click this button. Here are your primers. This is the forward inner primer with its melting temperature. Here is the reverse inner primer sequence. This one is the forward outer primer. And this one is the reverse outer primer. Here are other options. These values are important for the identification of the allele in your sample. If your bend appears on the gel at this position, it means you have the T allele. And if your bend appears at this position, then you have the C allele. This is the product size of the outer primers, which shows that we have the desired DNA present in the sample. The primer one not only create one pair of tetra arms PCR primers, but it will create you a list of tetra arms PCR primers. So this is the pair one, this is pair two, this is pair three, and so on. Tetra arms PCR is a powerful technique for SNP genotyping and the Primer 1 tool makes the design of effective primers straightforward and accessible. Whether you are working in a research lab or in a clinical setting, these tools can significantly enhance your genetic analysis workflows. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or need further assistance with Tetra Arms PCR primers or Primer 1 tool, feel free to ask. Thanks and bye. Allah Hafiz.